One of the topics I really want to cover in depth during December dark is different lasers. And I'm going to be the first to admit that I don't have the budget or the access to every single laser on the market. But what we did do is get a couple different lasers together out of our inventory and also one of our friends kicked over a full power laser so that we could show it to you guys because that's one of the questions people are going to ask. Is it worth it to try to hunt down a full power laser? And while it is legal for you to own that, it's very difficult for you to get one. You can find them on tax swap sometimes, you can get them on different websites. There's some Russian full power lasers that people are sending money overseas and waiting six months to get and a lot of people are running them. But at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, is it worth it? So on my 10.3, I have a TLR VIR2. This is the first one that I wanna show you guys. And what I wanna do is just kinda of shine over to the tree line here and give you a little bit of an example of what we're working with. So over there, that's about 25, 30 yards. You can see on the tree, there's an illuminator and there's a little bit of a laser. And we're gonna try this with the camera. Hopefully you guys can track. We're gonna to go to the 50 yard dirt mound. Hopefully you can still see that. There might be some autofocus things going on with the camera, but we'll work with it. So I'm gonna also kind of pan down to the 100 yard bench. So right out there, hopefully you guys can see that laser. At this point with the TLR VIR2, the illuminator really is only good for about 50 yards. So I'm not using this for illumination out of that distance, but what that hopefully shows you guys, I'm going out to even 200 yards now, citizen or civilian class lasers, they're good enough for almost everything that you would ever want to do. They're not gonna be as powerful as a full power laser, obviously, but they're not completely useless. It's not like some little airsoft toy that you're not gonna be able to actually functionally use it. So now I've got this little hollow sun unit over here. I'm gonna to try to hit that over in the trees. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's a pressure switch over there on the tree. This one does not have any illumination. So this is just a laser. Let's go to the 50 yard mound here. Again, hopefully you guys can see that. I'm gonna go out to the 100 yard bench just so you guys can see that. And then we're out to 200 yards. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but through the night vision, clear as day, very easy to see it. Let's go over here to the D-Ball. Now the D-Ball A3, this is like the citizen version of a full power D-Ball. So it's gonna have all the same buttons and functions and cool stuff, but it is a citizen class. And the downside of this is it's a $1,500 unit. I bought it just like you guys buy it. Nobody sent this to me. The illuminator is pretty weak and I'm not super happy with it. And I've said this a million times, when it comes to full power lasers, what I care about personally most is having good illumination. So I'm gonna shoot this down into the trees. So right here, this is gonna have better illumination than the TLR VIR2, but it's still gonna be just a weak illumination. Now, I will say on this particular unit, you can actually focus in. I'm gonna to try to do it here. We can tighten up that pattern a little bit. So right there, that's the tightest that it's gonna go. So we go out to 50 yards. So it would be good for about 50 yards. You've got a much more pronounced pattern than the TLR VIR2. When we go out to 100 yards, you can barely see the illuminator. You can still see the laser. Out to 200, clear as day, you can see the laser beam. So still functional, but it doesn't have the level of illumination that I typically would like. And that's why we run things like the Well Tool Infrared Illuminator. Now guys, we've got a Mall DA over here. And I want to show you guys the difference here. So I don't know if you can see that unit. Malls are pretty sweet. This is a full power version. We're borrowing this in the range today. So let's go look at the tree line there. Look at that illuminator. How much brighter that is. I hope that this does justice to you guys because it's probably three times as bright. Right there is just the laser. You can see a straight laser beam like a lightsaber going to the tree. There's 50 yards. Here's the illuminator. 50 yards laser, illuminator, laser only at 100 yards. There's the illuminator, you can see the entire bench. That's crazy. Out to 200 yards, that's a 200 yard bench. The illuminator is still functional out at 200 yards. Honestly, at distances like this when we're shooting steel targets, the laser is almost too much. And actually right here, let's look down range real quick. Look on that cardboard target. See how much bloom is there on the target? So when we're working distances like this, closer ranges, and we're shooting targets and we're working on the flat range, having a full power laser is not 
necessary. It's not something that you have to feel bad or say, I have to go out and buy this full power laser, spend extra money just to have the full power laser. What I love about this is that illuminator. And the way we can solve this problem is by investing in quality illumination. So we could run something like this hollow sun as a separate laser and we could get a secondary illuminator like Akiji and you can ultimately have the best of both worlds. And I think that's the trend that people are gonna start doing a lot of is having a dedicated laser that's a civilian class laser and then investing in a quality infrared illuminator because at the end of the day, looking out here at 200 yards with night vision on my face, I can see stuff, but the difference between seeing and identifying often comes down to the kind of infrared illuminator that you're running. So I just wanted to take a little bit different position for you guys, show you some citizen class lasers, how they're not necessarily the end of the world. And hopefully this is good information for you guys. Hopefully it helped. We don't charge you guys for this content. You can buy stuff off our website or not. I don't really care. We're putting this out there for free. But one of the ways you can pay it forward is send it to one of your buddies. It means the world to us. And that's the way we defeat the dark overlords of Instagram. When you guys start sending this stuff around and sharing it with your buddies, that word of mouth is what actually reaches people. And we rely on that for our content to be able to get to new people. So we appreciate you guys. Definitely send it to a buddy if it was helpful to you. Catch you guys in the next one.